has just started behind of us at 10 o'clock. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, they're behind! But today we got the psychic spectacular event that just started too. Donald Duck is there, I can hear him quacking, quacking. And also Walt Disney and Mickey, they are here in statue. You know what? Today, it's just going to be a fun day for her. She's just going to have fun here in uh, Magic Kingdom. So you know what? She's not going to be on video at all. But I'll be with you guys, alright? So hi, hi to all of you guys. Alright, go and watch the show. I'll see you later, babe. Alright, so it's just me and you guys. I really want her to enjoy today, guys. So it's just going to be me and you guys. Alright, I've been here to Magic Kingdom a couple of times. I'll move somewhere else. I'll turn my camera around so that it's not so noisy. I've been here a few times. You know, this is my actually fourth time here. It's the first time here. We've been to the one in Hong Kong, uh, but I want her to just have fun uh, watching the show and uh, taking all the rides and do whatever she wants. Yeah, we were actually at Animal Kingdom yesterday. Spent a full day there, spun literally all the pocket stop there and literally took whatever rides we wanted to take. Even took the new ride, which uh, is Avatar, the Avatar, uh, the one in Pandora area. We took that. And uh, actually, that's a very new ride for me because uh, I've not been to Animal Kingdom since I don't know how many years ago, man. I think at least 18 years ago. But anyway, I'm gonna bring my screen up to show you guys that yes, we got the Psychic Spectacular event. We gotta make five curve trolls and make all the way to 42 curve trolls, bringing us. Allowing us to catch a total of 9 solo seas to have 9 chances for shiny solo seas. I know the lighting is not so good but um, I can't because uh, the, the, the sound will be too loud. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, do, I hope it's not copyrighted. Okay, great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's over for now. Um, not yet. It's just, uh, it's just the intro, guys. So uh, anyway, I'm going to complete all those tasks. I'll show you guys some of the interesting things that I've gotten in the last few days. First of all, I got myself a shiny Lilip from the start. Alright, actually evolved this one. My uh, first uh, Pomo. And then as for shinies, I got myself a total of five new shinies yesterday. Actually, pretty cool. Zigzagoon, all right. Le Chong, Miss Drivius from the few research. Genesec, the one that we got from actually Disneyland. Very, very happy to get that. Uh, I mean, Animal Kingdom. Panpour, and that's about it. But as of now, just gonna have fun uh, over here. All right, a lot of new Pokestop for us to spin. Uh, we've been to the one in Hong Kong, spun uh, literally almost all the Pokestop there. But right here, Cinderella's Castle. Um, <laughs> We're gonna spend our food day here almost. Oh my god, my, I almost fell. I literally almost fell into the bush. <laughs> I literally almost fell. That was insane. That was pretty crazy. I would have. Oh yeah, that was pretty, literally hilarious. Anyway, I will complete all those tasks once I'm done. I'll actually uh, update you guys. But we're gonna watch the show with Princess now. Spend a bit of time uh, doing that. After we're gonna take some rides, we will complete the task together. Yeah. Well, guys, as Princess is enjoying herself, watching the show among the crowd of people. Well, I'll show you guys a few things. First of all, I forgot to show you guys the uh, collection challenge or so that we have available, which I would like to complete also. Over here, we got a Marvelous Minds challenge to catch Medicham. All right, we got to evolve one Meditype to get Medicham and then uh, get the Gardevoir. Next one is going to be for Slowbro. Next one is going to be for Alakazam. Like Basically, four different species or different type of uh, psychic type Pokemon. Right, once we catch all of them, I'll then do all the evolution. You have to evolve all the way to the last stage evolution though. Alright, and I think you gotta catch a Galarian Slope. So you gotta catch five different Pokemon. Alright, so we're gonna check out Lick Duck also over here. Thank you very much, Lick Duck. Quack quack. There's Donald Duck over there on the stage also. <laughs> Alright, under the Psychic Spectacular event, which lasts for a good, I believe, a good uh, five days, four and a half days. Alright, we got increased XP for successfully catching Pokemon with curved throws. Alright, these are the Pokemon that are spawning in a while, a total of, uh, I guess. Um, 14 different ones for the psychic event and uh, the, those are the eggs that will hatch those those are the red Pokemon uh, P, S and I for psychic um, I guess and then we got a very interesting one Galarian Mr. Mime for the third stage evolution one alright we got uh, Genesect and also the three legendary beasts coming back on the 23rd of September 23rd of September yeah after Genesect is gone so uh, stay tuned for that Alright, we got few research. We got three few research that uh, we would like to focus on if you would like to get yourself the shiny solo seeds, which are catch five psychic type Pokemon, make 10 curve throws, or spin five Pokestops or gyms. Alright, so those are the tasks and we have to get nine solo seeds from it. And that's basically it. I'm gonna work on those tasks and then like I said, I will show you guys once I'm done and I'm ready. 
but uh, let's just uh, go back to watch the show a little bit more here. Whew, guys, it's a very hot day. Princess and I, we have actually uh, taken two rides, two indoor rides, so that we can be in the air-conditioned area. But there are a couple of rides that are closed, which uh, is quite unfortunate. And those are the rides that I actually would like to take, like Tron, and even uh, Big Thunder Mountain and uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Seems to be temporarily closed for now, but so good. Anyway, we're waiting for the parade to start. Princess is like within the crowd and I'm going to look for her after I'm done with this. I've already completed um, most of the tasks that I need to do. just got myself the Galarian uh, Slowpoke, which is something that I really need to be able to complete that research task. I'm going to claim this. Alright, it's going to be a Solosis. So technically, I got a 9 plus 1 more chance of Solosis. In fact, I've caught a few Solosis already. Unfortunately, none of them are shiny. But we're going to claim the 9 Solosis right now. Okay, I've already done the 42... Uh, curve throws. Uh, can't remember what's the CP for the Hundo, but I think uh, Lick Duck already shown it. But uh, anyway, the, the new shiny Solosis. Be nice to get it. Be really nice to get it here in Disney World or Disneyland or the Magic Kingdom. It'll be really nice to get it. Like uh, if I can get it on my ninth one, that'll be great. If I can't, it's okay. I mean, the event is going to be for a few days long, four days long, and definitely we will try and catch it. With the Go Plus Plus, I'm not really going to bother too much about like uh, hand catching a lot of the Pokemon because I really would like to spend time with Princess uh, just being here in Disney World. We've been here for, you know, like one day and even yesterday. And tomorrow we are going to go to Universal Studios. After Universal Studios, we are going to go for another day of Disney before we play Com Day on Saturday with the community over here in Orlando at Lake Eola. And then we will continue with another, I believe, two days of Disney. So basically it's four days, not two days of Disney, one more day of Disney. And then SeaWorld. So one day of SeaWorld, one day of Universal Studio, four days of Disney. Yeah, all the planning and everything is actually way more tiring than uh, GoFest itself. Planning for GoFest. So I still got those tasks to do though. Anyway, I'm just going to do them off camera. Basically claiming, claiming all those rewards. There's no reward encounter at all. Alright, but uh, as of now, we'll just wait for this egg to hatch. Do that by ourselves. Wait for a hour to start because I'd like to do a raid on the Cinderella castle, hopefully no other eggs uh, screw up the the red hour spawn and then I may even do a solo on that uh, Genesect later in the evening well guys red hour has ended it's really 7.20 you guys want to know what happened? well princess and I we actually hanged out at the park did a lot of things we in fact went to take uh, one of the kind of the newest ride Tron which was open uh, six months ago but it's raining very heavily now. I'm literally sitting here at the stroller parking area in front of the castle. It's raining even heavier now. Uh, we are still staying here because we want to take dinner and then after that, uh, we're going to wait for the fireworks to start. It's still going to carry on. We've already spoken to some of the staff and they say that it's still going to go on as long as there's no lightning and there's no heavy wind. Um, there isn't any lightning at all. We have not seen anything at all, but it uh, looks like we're going to stay here for the fireworks in the rain, I suppose so. But here we are. There's a Genesec over here. Yes, red hour has uh, ended, but... There are a few late spawns, including the one over here at Cinderella's Castle, which I say I wanted to uh, raid it with you guys. I'm going to do a solo. Wait, 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 wait. I can't do a solo if I go into public, uh, just in case someone were to hop in or so, right? So I'm going to go into this. And in fact, I'm going to create a group. I'm going to use the best, the number one fire type attacker against it, and that is Mega Blaziken. So first of all, I have to Mega Evolve it. I have to uh, also switch out my party a little bit. All right, let me do everything. And we'll just straight to the part where we battle it. Yes, guys. Raining and solo uh, Blaziken. I mean, not Blaziken. Um, Genesec here in Disney World. How amazing. Happiest place on Earth. Well, guys, as we take a few seconds to appreciate how nice Cinderella's castle looks at night with it being lit up, the raid has started. Anyway, I'm not gonna do any much commentary on the raid. Just want to talk to you guys about uh, our trip here, being here in Orlando. You know, it's actually Princess's uh, first time being here in uh, Disney Magic Kingdom. And in fact, uh, yesterday, like I said, we were in a Animal Kingdom. We went to actually all the rides that we wanted to go to. Very happy that uh, we were able to come here. Uh, it's a long way from home for the both of us. We have been in America for like a, a month already. Since Go Fest in New York till now, and we have been away for like three months each already, not going back to Singapore or even the Philippines yet. But after this trip, we are going back to uh, Singapore for five days as I have a wedding, a friend's wedding to attend. A friend's wedding to attend. Princess and I ain't getting married yet. 
alright? And then after that, we are going back to Cebu for uh, three days, hanging out with her friends and her family. After that, we are going for the city safari zone in South Korea and Seoul. Hopefully, we can uh, see you some of you guys there also. I know it's uh, pretty um, noisy, especially where there are pitter patter, raindrops, rain sound um, falling on us, falling on me. It's literally coming into me right now. I have to hide here. Even more. I don't want my camera to be soaked. But uh, yeah, it's been an enjoyable trip and we've been enjoying it so far, going to different places, especially uh, when we met up with the community in New York, in Philadelphia, Washington, Columbus, Indianapolis, Minneapolis, uh, Tampa especially, and also now here in Orlando. We have not met the community yet at all. We have not met a single um, trainer whom is part of the community here in Orlando yet, but I'm sure we're going to meet a lot of them during a community day. I did uh, meet some trainers here in uh, Disneyland came to say hi to me and uh, we took some photos together especially I did see quite a number of Leroy's being put down and uh, even red hours just now I saw like people in the red pretty nice um, of course uh, I did put down quite a number of Leroy's also and some people actually saw my Leroy's that they came to say hi to really interesting that um, Disney is a very good place to play Pokemon Go I must say um, but now the problem is I'm not even sure whether I can uh, take down this Genesec if I can't it's totally fine you guys know what I just realized I do not have weather boost it's two minutes into the battle already Alright, if I can't take it down, well, I'll take it down with Princess later on. Yeah, we'll take it down with her. But uh, she's in the shop buying some stuff that her to do, do whatever stuff she wants to do. But I'll take it down with her later on. I don't think I can take it down because I do not have weather boost. So I'll just like to conclude the video uh, right here, right now. Yep, just uh, like to spend some time with uh, her. They don't want to uh, bother too much about making any any proper video. Now the glitch has happened, a white screen of this. Thank you very much, Niantic. Please fix, fix your glitch. So I think that is all that we have to show to you guys in this video and hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me play the Psychic Spectacular event. If you guys did, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Hopefully you guys will see Princess again. But not to worry, she's back home in her magic kingdom. And you guys know what? She's actually right in front of us. There. Bye guys. <laughs> okay, now bye. I can leave her here. Bye. She's going to go back to her home. Here, literally here in this castle. Okay, it's Princess. Castle, yeah, okay, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.